Okay, we are official. So today we're going to talk about graphing quadratic equations, in particular using the axis of symmetry. Now, every single parabola is symmetrical. Every parabola that we're going to be working with that is a function, meaning it only has one y for every x, right? For every x, there's only one y. Parabolas would have to be going up or down. Up or down, right? They can't be they can't be going like this because then for an x right here, I'd have two y's, one here and one here. That's technically not a function. So it's still a parabola, it's a sideways parabola. But we're going to be talking about vertical parabolas that are opening upwards or opening downwards, okay? Um, and for those, they all have an axis of symmetry, meaning you'll notice, you notice when you graphed y is equal to x squared, you said, oh, well, there's no c. Well, actually, c is 0. Well, actually, this is what you have, 0x plus 0. So your b is 0. So the b is what moves it off the y-axis to the left or the right. And since b is 0, there's no b, right? So it's going to be on the y-axis. And then your, your c is your x, or excuse me, your y-intercept. It's where your parabola intersects the y-axis. And since it's at 0, it's 0. So that's my vertex. I know that's my vertex because it doesn't go left to right. And then I use standard parabola guide, which is over 1, up 1, you know, whatever. Over 1, up 1, over 2, up uh, 4, right? So I go over 1, up 1, over 1, up 1, over 2. Oh, actually, I'll just do this one. Just like over 1, up 1, over 2, up 4. But notice, since this is... This is only half of my parabola, right? This y-axis in this particular case is my axis of symmetry. It's that line that the parabola is equidistant to. You know what equidistant means? No. Equidistant. Equal distance. Right? So if this is my, if this, and that, in fact, I'm going to use a different color here for a second. If this, I don't know which color. Does this work? If this is my axis of symmetry, usually I do an axis of symmetry with a dotted line. That means my parabola is symmetrical to that line, which means over here from this, from this line, I'm one away, right? So I'm going to be, I can just go one away from the line this way and put a dot. And this is two away, right? One, two. I could go one, two and put a dot. And it will be equidistant. And so I've created my parabola, right, by using my axis of symmetry, okay? So up to this point, you know how to do this. You know how to do y equals x squared, or y equals x squared plus 10, or y equals x squared minus 17, or anything, because you know the c just moves it down. We don't know yet about how to use the b to move it left and right. That's what we're going to talk about today. That is actually called finding the axis of symmetry. Think about it, your vertex is always on the axis of symmetry. So that's so important, I'm going to write it here. Uh -huh. Vertex is always on the axis of symmetry. Okay? That is always true. Therefore, if you find your axis of symmetry, so if you find the axis of symmetry, axis of symmetry, you have found your B. the x of the vertex. Your head. So, so then we just have to solve the other vertex. Right? So, um, um, if you find the axis of symmetry, then you have found the x of the vertex. So now, 
since, d does that make sense? Like vertex is going to be this, right? The vertex is going to be x comma y. But if you can find the axis of symmetry, you just found your x. In this case, my x is 0, right? For my vertex. So it means I don't go left or right. I stop right here. And then if it was 0, negative 4, it would be I go down 4 right here. I'd stay right on the y. Does that make sense to you guys? Right? So now, this is the formula for axis of symmetry. Axis of symmetry. Axis of symmetry formula. Very, very important formula. And you will want to memorize it. And you will find that it is so easy to memorize because it's already something you know without something in it. It starts with x equals because that's what's going to tell you your x. x equals negative b over 2a. Now what does that remind you of? The quadratic formula. What? Minus all the confusing stuff. Minus all the confusing stuff, right? You don't have that other stuff, the plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. You don't have that. It's just negative b over 2a. So let's try one. Um, I just realized I don't want to give you one that's on the homework. So hang on one second. Uh-oh. 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 Okay, let's say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get rid of this, this part. Oh, why is this not erasing? Because you're using the right marker. Um, why? It's going to get success. All right, let's try this. Let's say the, the assignment was to graph y equals... Um, x squared minus 6x plus 2. Okay? So that's what we've been asked to graph. Because it has a b, which is 6, minus 6 actually, it has a b, I now know it is not going to be, the vertex is not on the y-axis. Does that make sense? It's going to be to the left, the left, or to the right. Right? So um, we don't know yet. So that's where this comes in. So the first thing you do is your goal is actually to find the, find the vertex. That's what you want to find. Because if you find the vertex, then you can go over 1, up 1, over 2, up 4. Right? Piece of cake. But in, in order to find the vertex, we have to find the it's axis like of <laughs> symmetry first. So the first yes. thing is to find the yeah, axis. Sure so this is the very work. first thing. I'm going to go AOS for axis of symmetry, okay? I don't know if that's an abbreviation that other people use or not, but I don't like to write it out all the time. So my axis of symmetry is x is equal to, and I'm going to write the formula. I really recommend writing the formula before you actually plug it in, at least in the beginning until you've got it down so well that you don't forget it at all. All right. So now, negative b, negative negative 6 is what? 6. 6. Over 2 times, what's the a? 1. 1, one right? 2 times 1 is just 2. What is 6 divided by 2? 3. 3. Okay, so my axis symmetry, so that means, now I want to find my vertex. My vertex is this. It is going to be, I happen to know, that's going to be my x. So it's going to be 3 comma, and then I don't know. I don't know what my y is. How would I find my y? A micro. Say what? That is my y intercept, but that is not necessarily my y of the vertex. Do you know what I'm saying? Right? Like, for example, if I had a graph, right? Here's my, here's a graph. I could, I could say, yeah, my, 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 the y-intercept is a 2, but my graph could be like this. My vertex would be here. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm looking for that point, right? So how would I find the y 
Anybody else? Anybody? Any ideas? You guys know this, actually. Believe it or not, all of you would be able to answer this if I sta stood here long enough. Might have to Maybe stand here for three hours, but you all know it. Question. What would you do? Let me. Somebody different. Somebody new. I'll call on Sal if nobody else comes up. You don't figure out that actual topic. Who's talking? You? Okay. Sorry, Mike. I can't tell direction. Go ahead. Say it again. Wait. You don't actually like. You don't actually solve the part that you're supposed to draft. Wait. 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 I think you're onto something. Did you guys hear what she just said? Obvious. What did you just say? That you would like to solve the equation that oh, you have up there by graph that's what equals y equals. So you have, we go back to our sorry. original equation. Brilliant, Indu. Brilliant. See, I told you guys could do this. But look, you go back to the original. That tells you your y. When x is 3. So we want to know oh, when. You plug in we just plug it in. Is. Yeah, that'll tell you your y. Since we know, we want to know what y is when x is 3, right? So we're going to go up here, and instead of x, we're going to plug that in for 3, put a 3 in there, and then we're going to figure out well, what does that give us for y. So here we do it. We're going to do it. So we got y is equal to um, 3 squared minus 6 times 3 plus 2. So y is equal to 9 minus 18 plus 2. So y is equal to, what's 9 minus 18? Nine, nine. Negative 9, negative right? Seven. Plus 2, so negative 7. <laughs> ah, so that's my y of my vertex. Does that make sense to you guys? Yeah. So I go over here and I say negative 7. That's my vertex. Now let me look at the homework here. Vertex. Okay, and then the, other, the next thing you might want to just think about, does it go up or down? I mean, smiley face. Oh, 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 oh. it's positive. It goes up. It's so it goes up. It goes up in this case, not down. Right? It goes up. Um, I am recording this, yes. Uh, now, if on this homework I said the x intercepts or zeros, I haven't really. I've taught you how to do the x intercepts. How would you do the x intercepts? Find them. We'd use. We'd use the x-intercepts. Oh, yeah. the x. Um, How would you find them? Wait, the x-intercepts with the quadratic formula. The quadratic formula, right? Yeah. The x-intercepts, to find the x-intercepts, that, that's the next thing I say here. I just didn't give you enough space to do it, like using the quadratic formula. There's another way, which eventually I'll be teaching you guys, but um, to find the, to find the x-intercepts. They're also called the zeros, finding the zeros. When y is zero, what is x? Right? It's going to be often two things, not always, but two. Four. Um, so I would say for, for, for this one thing that says um, x intercepts or zeros, you don't have to do that for the homework, okay? I just want you to do these problems the way so far. So we got one, two, three. From that vertex, can you just go up one over one, up two, I mean, over two, up four? So, four, what is, before that, though, what is the y-intercept? Um, All right, uh, Domenica, what's the y-intercept? Uh, no, not it's, it, it's written, it's just right in here. The y-intercept, where does it cross the y-axis? It's always, remember, remember when you did y is equal to x squared minus 6? Oh. It's that last number. That's always your. That is always your y-intercept. Always, no question. You don't have to do any calculating with these to find your y-intercept. So your y-intercept is two. Okay. Oh yeah, it does. Right. And then um, reflect. Okay. So now, now we're gonna we're gonna graph it. We've got everything we need to graph it. Really, this was all we needed technically, right? We just we needed to find the axis symmetry so that we could find the vertex. And then we have to know whether it's going to go up or down because we have to know whether it's over one up one or over one down one, right? So here we go. Here we're, here's our graph. So we've got our y-axis, our x-axis, 
we've got our our um, vertex is at three, one, two, three, and negative seven. One, two, four, five, six, seven. And so three, negative seven. Now, my axis of symmetry is three. This is what I want you to also do when you graph these. I want you to draw your, you know, your axis of symmetry. It is a dotted vertical line, okay? You writing this down in your notes for sure? This is all. This is this whole. You guys, notes. I guarantee you, if you don't write notes, you will fail in high school. I guarantee. I mean, there's not a way you will pass without writing notes in high school. You have to learn to write notes. You've got to. It's so important. But the homework, you see, like if you go if you go home, if you didn't have this and you went home to do your homework, you'd be lost, most of you. You need your notes to quickly, you know, always have get out your notebook when you're doing your homework. Because the homework is based on the notes. It's always that's the way math classes work. So it's really important. So um, so that's called my axis of symmetry. I did that. I know my vertex is here. Now, I know it's going up because it's A is positive, it's a smiley face. And so from here, I'm going to go over 1, up 1. And since it's symmetrical, I could, this is over 1 from axis symmetry, I could do 1 over here and put that dot there. Well, that's a tiny problem. And then over 2, up 4, 1, 2, 3, 3, 4. Yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, yeah. And then since that's 2 over from this, I could go 2 over here, boom, and I can draw my parabola. It is really not very hard to do. It's not very hard to do. Right? Does that make sense? Yep. You guys have that? All right, so now we're going to do one. Can I erase all this? Yes. What can I erase? What? Vertex is always on the axis. I can erase this part. And do we have to copy down this equation the one that did? Oh, we're running out of time. I just realized it is it is nine Here, are, we, nine are we copying down that one thing to go down? Uh, the whole thing. I mean oh. this this is the problem we just grabbed. No, the problem right there. Are we supposed to copy that? This? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because that's that shows you the the way I graph it. I do my axis symmetry first, then I do my vertex, put it up there, over one up one, over two up four. Okay? So I'm gonna pass up the homework. And I'm gonna turn this off.